Since the pandemic began, people have been sitting at home more than ever, which can mean weak glutes and lots of back pain. That's why it's so important to strengthen your backside. So joining us to help work out the glutes is fitness expert Jennifer Jacobs. Thank you so much for having me back, Dr. Ian. Yes, one of the principles of the J Method is to train the glutes as much as you're sitting on them. So I'm here to show you three movements you can perform from the comfort of your own living room using resistance bands. You can use either a resistance mini band such as this or a glute band for more intensity. This is featured in the J Method Travel Size Gym, so I'm never without it. Resistance bands are a great way to increase the challenge, uh -huh. the difficulty, and for beginners, a great way for you to connect your mind to the muscles, which are our glutes that we're targeting. So for the first move, I'm gonna perform a hip thrust. Okay. You can see I have the band around my thighs, and I'm, on, I'm gonna take this on the floor. So for that one, I have my leg elevated, one leg at a time. For a beginner, both feet into the floor, driving the hips up, contracting the glutes, mm -hmm. and lowering back down. The band serves as a way for you to apply tension throughout to engage those muscles supporting your hips. And when you get to the top, should you stay there for a two second count, three second count, or come right back down? It all depends. It's a great idea to vary the way in which you do movements, but my suggestion is hold it a few seconds, one, two, and then lower back down with control, back up, constantly applying tension into the band. Perfect. All right, what you got next? A hip thrust off of a elevated surface. I'm gonna use my couch, still keeping the band around my thighs. I'm gonna slide down, mid back into the surface, and I'm hinging at the hip, still applying pressure into the band. I'm gonna lower my hips down towards the floor and then drive up explosively, contracting the glutes on the back side. You can see I'm using additional resistance underneath my feet, uh -huh. but for this, for the beginner, you wanna just break it down, the band again, allowing you to connect your mind to those muscles. This is one of the most effective movements for the glutes. Yeah, I like Hip that one a lot. Thrust. I like that. It looks good. I think that the results from that are very good. You get a nice, tight contraction. All right, number three, our last one, what you got? Number three, it looks a lot more complex. I have socks on, which is adding even more resistance into the floor. Let's take all of that off right here on the floor. Keep your feet together. You're going to abduct at the hips, driving the knees away from your center, applying as much tension, even more than the other two moves into the band, and then returning to start. So you remember those old school machines at the gym yeah. where you abduct in the legs? <laughs> That's Same right. thing here, but from the comfort of your own home. You know what, Jennifer, I gotta tell you, these are so awesome. Thanks as always, great exercises, getting those glutes nice and tight, love it, and look forward to having yes. you again. All right, my pleasure, thank you. All right, for more information on Jennifer Jacobs and her J Method, just go to our website, thedoctorstv.com.